Good morning, everybody. My name's Emily from Kin Yoga, and this is Janet. <laughs> She's Hi. going to be doing um, my practice alongside me. So sometimes it's really nice to see the exact same practice, but two different bodies. So there may be times when we do something slightly different, and that's totally OK. This is a 10 minute morning energizing flow um, just to get you nice and warm for your day, especially on these cold winter mornings and get you feeling ready for the day. But it's a nice, quick one for you. OK, let's get started. So we're just going to stay as we are. So find a nice, comfortable seat. You'll notice that I'm sitting on my heels and Janet is sitting cross legged. So anything that works in your body this morning. Take just a moment here to close your eyes down and allow your body to arrive into stillness. And take a full breath in and slow exhale out. Just giving your body a chance to pause before the day begins. And about three deep breaths like this, just so we can start to integrate our yoga practice for the day. I'm always breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Slight constriction through the back of the throat as you exhale, we call that ujjayi breath. And tuning into any little sounds that are around you in your space. For us, we have beautiful morning, morning bird sounds. And start to grow your spine nice and tall. Lengthen the crown of your head and roll the shoulders down the back of the body. And gentle chuck of the chin towards your chest. And then slowly start to blink the eyes open. We're just going to roll the shoulders up and down. Build a little bit of heat here. Start to move those shoulders. Keep rolling, keep rolling until we can feel a little bit of warmth in that shoulder joint. You can allow your hands to move organically as they want, or they can stay nice and still in your lap. Keep rolling for about another five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly, wherever you are, bring your hands firmly onto the mat. Tuck your toes, send it back to a downward facing dog. Now be nice and gentle. So you want to start with your knees bent, heels can be lifted. Spread your fingers nice and wide and pedal one foot out at a time, but your knees can stay bent at all times. And bring your gaze between your toes or perhaps towards the back of the room or the back of the mat. And then slowly, slowly guide the spine forward into a nice high plank position, either on the knees or off the knees. We're spreading the shoulders nice and wide, keeping the belly on strong, and then to toes together, knees nice and wide, drop it down for a child's pose. Let your chest sink down between the legs. Rest the forehead on the mat. As you inhale, come forward to your high plank position, tuck the toes, lift the knees, or the knees can stay on the ground if you need and slowly send it back, downward facing dog. Twice more like this as we inhale, flow forward, high plank. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. One more time like this, inhale, ripple the spine forward, high plank, nice and strong. Exhale, child's pose, sink it back. Last round, inhale, coming up. Exhale, tuck the toes, send it back, downward facing dog. Take a few moments here. Now that we've pedaled out our feet, spread your fingers really wide, press your fingertips into the earth and allow the heels to melt down now. Let's see if we can find stillness. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Look between your hands, rise up onto your tippy toes and let's start to journey all the way to the front of the mat. If you'd like an extra challenge, see if you can heel toe your feet all the way up to your wrist creases without your hands touching, uh, lifting off the mat. Nice, from here, bend your knees, come into your rag doll position, grab onto your elbows, swing from side to side, pulse up and down, or perhaps you're nice and still this morning. Make sure you find 
a lot of release of tension through that neck by maybe moving the neck from side to side. Yes, no, head nod, maybe a bit of a shoulder roll. Spread your toes nice and wide, ground down through your feet. Lift the arches of your feet and pull your belly up and over your thighs. So they release your hands down to the mat. Inhale to a halfway lift, hands on the mat or hands on your shins. Press forward, inhale, exhale, fold. Slight bend of the knees, inhale, roll the spine all the way up, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Palms facing forward. On your next inhale, reach your hands up and overhead. Exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to do that one more time, but pick up the pace a little bit. So from here, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Hands come overhead. Exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we're going to step it back to a high plank position. So either on the knees or off the knees. Janet is going to go on the knees this morning and demonstrate that way. So we're pressing the ground away, shoulders are strong. On your inhale, come over your fingertips. And as we exhale, we hug the elbows in lower all the way down towards the mat. Pop the chest and the hips on the mat at the same time. Baby Cobra, inhale. Squeeze the elbows together, lift the chest. Maybe your fingers get nice and light here. Keep pressing your toes on the mat for three. Or two, one, slowly release it down. On your next exhale, press back up in through your high plank or through your knees, downward facing dog. So we're gonna run through our sun salutation once or twice, and then we're just gonna add in a small variation. Rise up onto your tippy toes, look between your hands, step or float towards the front of the mat as we jump or step forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, roll the spine up, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, high plank, on the knees or off the knees. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, we lower halfway for your upward facing dog this time. Scoop the chest up, press the hips down as the crown of the head reaches up. Exhale, tuck the toes, send it back, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. At the end of the exhales, look forward, step or float to the front of the mat. On your inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling all the way up. Exhale, hands dive down towards the earth, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, high plank. Inhale, come forward over the hands. Exhale, we lower halfway for up dog, all the way down for baby cobra, our first variation. Inhale, back bend of choice. Exhale, tuck the toes, send it back, downward facing dog. And take a full breath in. Exhale, side out. On your next inhale, look between your hands, rise up onto your tippy toes. Step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time step the left foot back behind you. Low lunge, drop your back knee. Press your right foot firmly into the earth so we activate that hip. Inhale, sweep your hands up and overhead. Press into the foot so we lift the hip up a little bit so back knee stays down on the floor. Reach the fingertips up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step it back, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, back bend of choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. At the end of the exhale, look forward, step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach the spine all the way up, hands come overhead. Exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back behind you, low lunge, back knee drops down. Press firmly into the left foot, sweep the arms up and overhead. Grow the spine tall, maybe your gaze comes up. Exhale, hands to the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step it back, high plank. 
Exhale, lower. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, tuck the toes, send it back. One more time, each side. Take a full breath in. At the end of your exhale, step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice, strong pace here. Exhale, fold. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale, reach all the way up. Hands overhead. Exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot back behind you. This time, back knee stays lifted. Squeeze the thighs together. Inhale, crescent lunge. All ten toes point forward. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step it back. Either a normal plank or perhaps a three-legged plank to really fire up this morning. Exhale, lower. Inhale, back bend of choice. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, last round. Take a full inhale in. Exhale, step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, reach the hands up and overhead, gaze comes up. Exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot back. Keep the back knee lifted. Squeeze the thighs together. Sweep the arms up. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step it back. High plank. Either a three-legged Chaturanga Dandasana or a four-limb one. Three-legged. Three-limb. Lower down. Inhale, back bend of choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reach your right leg to the sky. Inhale, three-legged dog. Bend your knees, stack your hips on top of one another. Think about your right heel reaching for your left glute. Lift that top knee. Start to swing that knee forward as we plant it down for our pigeon pose. Odin is going to come and join us, I think, in the sun. Hey, buddy. Hello. And we're going to come for a pigeon. So set yourself up. Make sure that your hips are nice and square. What we like to do is roll that right hip all the way down to the ground. I want you to think about rolling your left hip down towards the earth. Square the chest and we start to fold down. Perhaps we stay on the hands. Maybe you drop to the elbows. And it feels quite nice here to have a little bit of flow. A lot of movement for the last maybe eight minutes. Then we find stillness, but we're still connected to the breath. Thank you, Odin. Come on, bud. And we're taking a few nice deep breaths as Odin sniffs me. Come on, buddy. I'm noticing that nice opposing feeling. of movement and now stillness. And take a full breath in, full breath out. Slowly bringing yourself back up onto your hands if you're not there already. Tuck your toes, lift your back knee nice and strong through that left leg. As we lift the right hip off the ground, round through the shoulders, send it back to a downward facing dog. Left knee lifts, inhale, a left leg lift, sorry. Bend your knees, stack your hips on top of one another. Think the left heel reaches for the right glute and that left knee lifts a little bit higher. Keep the weight even in your hands. Open through that front body. Start to draw left knee to left wrist. And as we come down, pigeon pose. Gentle flexion of those left toes towards your shin just to protect that shin joint. Again, notice if you've really rolled off to the side, pull that right hip down towards the earth. Stay upright for a moment, lead with your chest. And we start to come down as much as is, I won't say comfortable, but to the point where we're uncomfortable but we're not in pain. You can bow your head down here. And just a moment of quiet to prepare ourselves for the day to come. Knowing that we've given ourselves, even if it's a short period of time, but we've given ourselves that time this morning 
to move, to be present in our bodies, to breathe. And loosen up all those little nooks and crannies. Let's take one more full breath in here. Really slow the exhale all the way out. And on your next inhale, gently press back up onto the hands. We're going to roll onto that left hip now. And then see if we can swing, lift that right leg all the way forward. Swing into a nice cross-legged seat. Rest your hands comfortably in your lap. And from here, you can choose to lie down or you can choose to stay as you are. And this is a great opportunity for you to move into a little morning meditation. Or if you're a bit pushed for time, 10 deep breaths. We encourage always at the end of class to integrate everything we have learnt this morning throughout our practice. And bring your hands to your heart center if we're leaving you right here. Thank you very much for joining me. And thank you, Janet, for joining me and Odin. Thank Have you. a beautiful week. Namaste.